Ashley Banjo has become of the nation's favorite faces on TV since first appearing on our screens back in 2007. Rising to fame as the leader of dance troupe Diversity and winning the third series of Britain's Got Talent, Ashley has gone on to forge a career for himself as talent show judge and popular presenter. In addition for standing in for Simon Cowell as a judge during the live shows for Britain's Got Talent in 2020, the street dancer and choreographer has enjoyed stints on shows like Dancing on Ice, the Sky One talent show Got to Dance and was one of the co-presenters of the Saturday night BBC game show Can't Touch This. Away from his thriving career Ashley is a doting father to two children from his romance with longtime love Francesca Abbott, but the former couple stunned the showbiz world when they announced their split at the end of last year. Birthday bust up after shock marriage split Ashley and Francesca, who is a member of another dance troupe called Out of the Shadows, announced their engagement and tied the knot the following year, going on to welcome kids Rose, born 2019, and Micah, born 2020, into their family. But the pair, who met and fell in love as teenagers, shocked fans when they announced the end of their marriage with a moving statement shared publicly in December 2022. The statement read, Nearly 18 months ago, we took the difficult decision to separate. After being together for over 16 years, since we were teenagers, this is not a decision that has been taken lightly. It has not been easy and the processing of the situation has not been fast by any means. But we feel that as we approach the new year it is time to share the news with others. The two dancers continued to state how their main focus was on their beautiful children, 3-year-old Rose and 2-year-old Micah, adding that they want to ensure they can continue as a loving family and give the very best of ourselves as parents. Raising Rose and Micah in a healthy happy environment is the most important thing to both of us, the statement continued, before concluding by saying they wouldn't be offering any further comment. The former couple have seemingly remained on good terms despite going their separate ways, but that didn't stop a online row erupting earlier this month, as Francesca celebrated her birthday. As the mum of two celebrated her 36th birthday with a sweet selfie at the start of March, sharing a picture of herself wearing a metallic bustier and mini skirt, ex-husband Ashley was one of the first to comment and wish the mother of his children well. Happy birthday do Dex, the diversity star quipped in the comments, alongside a hands up and prayer emoji. As fans lashed out at Ashley over what they perceived to be a very casual message for his former partner, the dad of two hit back at critics who were slamming him for referring to Francesca as dude. He fumed, for those of you who wish to comment in outrage. This is what we've called each other for over a decade and a half. But your input is very much appreciated. Francesca then bent, thanks dude, with a heart emoji icon, before adding, shut down lol he's right though, we really have. Ofcom controversy in 2021, Ashley revealed he had spoken to people who complained to Ofcom about diversity's Black Lives Matter performance on Britain's Got Talent the year before. Diversity performed a powerful routine at the 2020 final of the TV show that propelled them to stardom, which commented on the then ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and the Black Lives Matter protests that had been taking place across the world. Despite many applauding Ashley and his fellow dancers for using their platform to highlight the reality of the world, the performance attracted 24,000 complaints to broadcasting regulator Ofcom. The performance had a lot of attention on it. 
the BAFTA was another angle, and this documentary will be another angle, Ashley confessed in 2021 when speaking ahead of the release of his ITV documentary, Ashley Banjo, Britain in Black and White. It's not just about me and the group and what happened, it's actually looking at it from both angles, so I've actually been doing interviews with people who complain, people who think opposite to me, and it's been really interesting. When asked by Metro if the interviews had been tough to conduct, the dancer replied, No, not really. I would say it was interesting, but not difficult. I'm so set in my opinions but also massively open to new ways of thinking so when people say things to you that you feel are slightly nonsensical, it's been interesting. Addressing the backlash in September 2020, Ashley took to Instagram to share headlines surrounding the row of the politicization of the show. He penned, art, the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. My truth, my platform, my art. I've always tried to create not only to entertain but also to inspire. That will never change. The dancer then went on to quote civil rights icon Martin Luther King and showed his love for his fans. Doting Dad Ashley's originally broke his silence regarding the Ofcom drama in 2020 with the help of one of his adorable children. At the height of the drama in September 2020, as the powerful BLM performance was close to becoming the most complained about TV moment of the decade, Ashley ignored critics and took to Instagram to share an adorable snap with his young daughter Rose. Just me and Rosie patiently watching as we head for the number one spot in other news though, I was out and about today and felt so much love from people, Ashley wrote. Never let the minority warp the reality. This country really is great hashtag diversity hashtag Ofcom. Ashley previously opened up about life as a father, telling the son, kids are the best thing that has happened to me in my life. But oh my gosh, I feel like I experienced dad guilt 24-7, if I am honest. All you want to be is a good dad and it's trying to get the right balance that I have probably found most challenging. Trying to make sure my kids feel like I am present, but also trying to provide for them. It's knowing that you have to walk out the door. Surprising career change away from dancing and reality TV, Ashley has also conquered the stage thanks to announcing a surprise career move earlier this year. The multi-talented star is set to make his West End debut as he takes on the role of Tin Man in Andrew Lloyd Webber's new production of The Wizard of Oz. Announcing the news at the star of February on Instagram, Ashley wrote, I'm honestly so excited about this one. Bringing my creations into a whole new world, working alongside some of the best on the planet including F. Jason Manford as the cowardly lion and the absolute legend that is at Andrew Lloyd Webber. The upcoming production will see comedian Jason Manford play the cowardly lion and Gary Wilmot take on the roles of the wizard and Professor Marvel. The show will run at the London Palladium from June 23 to September 3rd, with more casting to be announced at a later date. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29